Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 12. I'm here to test out the V-Skylabs F-19, which is currently on sale for $15. Its regular price is $30. I decided for $15 it was worth checking out. Uh, this is not a real plane. The F-19 did not actually exist. It was a model plane from testers slash Itellery and it was supposed to be, it was what they thought the F-117 stealth fighter was going to be, but what they thought was this, which is obviously quite different but it was meant to be a hypothetical stealth fighter. And so what v Labs has done is try to uh, bring it into the sim and see what it might have been like. Now, there aren't any real photos of any internals because again, it was a model airplane. Uh, so just plastic model. I uh, saw it at the time, in fact. Uh, I ogled it, but never got it. I built a lot of model airplanes, but um, I did not actually build this one. So they have a hypothetical cockpit that made sense to them and it's looking okay. I mean, there's no uh, problems with it as such. Uh, but yeah, it is a wonderfully eccentric design on the outside, especially with the forward fins. Those don't actually um, actuate. They look like canards, but they don't, they don't do canard things there, as far as I can tell, just for stability. And just to make it even more eccentric, these Skylabs with this particular livery has the American flag at the bottom. Uh, I guess that's sort of mimicking one livery for the F-117. There are only two liveries for the aircraft. I hope they have a... Uh, so there's this and then Hailstorm 86. Um, let's try Hailstorm 86. Let me just see how it goes. Uh, I hope they have a paint kit for it so that we could come up with our own liveries. Um, this one looks a little less striking, but also a little bit too dusty, maybe. I mean, it's uh, proper quality, but the dust, the way it's been blurred sort of makes it look like it's less quality, if you understand. So, yeah. Um, V-Sky Labs, of course, has been very good about updating their planes for X-Plane 12, but this is a plane made for X-Plane 12. And uh, the breathing sounds, by the way, come with the plane. It's not XP realistic, though I do have XP realistic and some of the sounds will be from XP realistic. There was a, um, sort of a configuration for the F-19 available from the cloud, so I got that configuration. Anyway, let's start it up and see how it goes. We are at Edwards Air Force Base, where I figure such things ought to be tested. Okay, we are up. That's the gear sound. Much like the F-117, it doesn't go particularly fast, but it can break Mach 1, unlike the F-117. But not by much. At full tilt, it has uh, afterburner effects. It actually feels a lot like it ought to be a racer. Like you could hug the ground and sort of imagine doing laps or something in it at fairly high speeds. We'll try and go past Mach 1 down here. I'm going towards uh, LA. So. See, that's a nice little road. Uh, no traffic, a lonely desert road, lots of rattling, probably XP realistic on that one. Oh, there's some traffic. We are past Mach 1, 1.05 right now. Oh, gotta avoid the power lines. Oh, it turned away. Oh, but it continues here. larger highway. Interstate even. So it's fun to fly. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is the kind of plane X-Plane uh, was 
meant for. Experimental planes, not general aviation planes. Oh, it's going the other way. I mean, after all, it's called X plane for a reason, right? Edward AFD Rogers Drive, altimeter 3019. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame that in X-Plane 12 they haven't carried over the SR-71, the X-15, and the Space Shuttle and that sort of thing. Because that's where X-Plane 12 can really excel. And also with planes like this, and a lot of planes from B-Sky Labs, they seem to know what X-Plane is good for. I wish there were tutorials for the plane maker. Because that's a nice feature that will allow people to try out their own designs, but more tutorials for it would be great. I don't even know which highway this is. Hopefully it's going somewhere interesting. I feel like I should be going further south though. Yeah, I, I especially miss the SR-71, which we don't have a good version of in uh, Flight Sim either. So I still have X-Plane 11 installed, because there are interesting planes that I don't have another version of. That I still occasionally want to fly. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not going towards LA right now. Yeah, we're, we're going up north instead. I'll stop following this uh, highway here. Let's try and go high and see how it does at altitude. We're probably running out of fuel with the afterburner and everything, so I'll tone it down a bit. Climb's fine. I would say that the stall speed is surprisingly low, but I don't know how heavy the whole thing is. So maybe because it's light, it doesn't need quite so much wing. It's probably got some lifting body stuff, but it's an awkward shape overall. Whatever the heck that thing is on the nose, it's probably not helping things. The triangle, I mean. But yes, uh, to quote the page from uh, the store for V Sky Labs. Uh, they say it's not an arcade aircraft or a generic fighter that only looks like the F-19 externally. Extensive professional real-world experience and knowledge of fighter jets, uh, design, system, performance, handling, and operation involved in the making of it. Uh, the result uncovers a scientific, graceful, powerful aircraft that holds a few weaknesses as well, just like any other real jet fighter. Well, uh, well, I mean, it can't go past my, one very much, so... Anyway, uh, what makes flying a tr true to life and fascinating experience, especially when exploring the flight envelope and its performance characteristics. So they, uh, they assert its realisms, if you will. I mean, and I certainly can't say it's not realistic. Though those, uh, the way the vertical stabilizers are and those fins in the front, uh, I have no idea why they're like that, but but of course that was part of the design, and I'm sure they're si being simulated. But the actual original design, I'm not entirely sure was a great idea. But uh, for all due respect to testers and Italeri, if somebody knows of a mod that can, you know, help the map out with having greater range, that would be wonderful. Maybe I need just an external app for the map. These fins. Uh, 
Since those are visible in the cockpit, I wish they were a better texture, to be honest. Just anything more interesting would be nice. They look like concrete. Yeah, I will definitely look for a paint kit and try to make my own texture for it. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. We're getting down to where we're going anyway. This is what it sounds like without Xperialistic. Here's how we look from the outside. The darker texture looks a bit better because it's not so dusty. Um, but it has garish colors on it too, so... Um, it probably would look better in just flat-out racing colors with logos on it. Has a lot of beeps. A lot of beeping going on. Well, we're at 55,000 feet. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and push it beyond 55,000. It seems like it doesn't want to go that much higher. Okay, I'm cutting the throttle. And we're gonna plunge. plunge down. Significantly. Emergency dogfight FCS mode. Normal tactical, I guess. I don't know what it actually does. Hey, it's actually got an F117 uh, paint on the bottom. Just noticed that. With the paveways inside. Just in case you want to fool somebody into thinking that you're an F117 or something, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna need the uh, air brakes actually. Does a fairly good job falling out of the sky without them. Well, we're violating some rules now. Air brakes. So that's deceleration with the air brakes, deceleration without the air brakes, deceleration with the air brakes. They're not all powerful or anything. Okay, here we are, LA. Hello, everyone. Traffic looks fairly mild today. Oh, that, that's low. Woo. Okay. Alright, we should probably land before I kill myself. Lots of sounds in here. I don't know what they all mean. Well, we have this darn bar right in front of us. <laughs> I should have had my track IR on so that I could lean one side. I'm sure there's a key for that, but... Well, I'll just wiggle. If the speed tape is correct, the stall speed is really low for this. But then again, it gives me a lot of warning sounds as we decelerate. Okay. You can go down now. Alright, we have contact. So, alright. It's certainly not difficult to fly. It looks like it ought to be more difficult to fly than it is. It really looks like it should be like fundamentally unstable, but maybe if we had like the fly-by-wire off or something, or whatever the equivalent is, it would be unstable. But otherwise, it's pretty straightforward.
It's certainly not even the most challenging plane from V Sky Labs I've flown. So all right, as I find myself a space here at LAX, this has been the V Sky Labs F19 uh, brief test with it, and it's fun to fly, no particular problems. Uh, it would be great for air racing if we could do some of that, and I'll just leave it here. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.